Dizzy? No. We're rolling. Okay. We're still rolling? You were rolling all the time, weren't you? I mean, you were rolling for the last 15 seconds, I hope. Oh, uh, can we close that door anymore? Because the cat's going to get out. I'll get it. Don't worry. It's off. Sorry about that. And if anybody is it off? white cat, throw her in here. They said they tested it and you can leave it on. Really? Yeah. yeah. We can leave it on? Yeah. Oh, good. It might be something that you get mad about later, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <I guess>. <laughs> <laughs> huh? The sound. Yo. All right, here we go. Go. Common sticks. OK, you ready? Yeah, we better be. You're on. All right. So welcome to A Bitter Grips production of Cooking 101. Where are you looking? Okay. Right there in my camera. Today, we're going to make turkey meatloaf, <laughs> believe it or not. He picks up And I'm He's going to walk over to the board and talk about the ingredients that we're going to use while Jim Walsh gets the ingredients. Yeah, so I'm go. doing it again. I'm looking around at all the cameras. It's very confusing. OK. All right. So the first right. thing we're going to need is some olive oil. All right, I got that. An onion. OK, wait, all right. wait. I've got it. You got it? Hold on. And while you're there, you might as well get some garlic. Did you tell them what we're doing? Yeah, we're cooking. Hmm. We're, well, not cooking. We're getting ready to cook. Cooking. What we're doing is no. called mise en place, which is getting everything ready and setting it up in an order so that it'll be easier for you to cook. Ah. Yeah, because I've got the two. Because so far, we're uh, in this meatloaf recipe that we're cooking. We're going to have the, what, the two garlics, one onion. Yep. One onion. We got the olive oil. Yep. We keep them together. I'll put them up here. All right. I'm still like. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Any questions? No. no. No questions. Okay. Go ahead. Salt and pepper, which you have there. I have the salt and pepper. Parsley. Yep. All right. You're going to need parsley. Which How is? much parsley? Oh, that's a good question. It's fresh out of the garden. It's right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a ha should be a half a cup. Is yeah. it a half a cup? Okay. Half a cup of parsley. <laughs> we got crib notes everywhere. And then you're going to need the dried thyme, which is on the. That's out of the garden too. That's wrong. <laughs> you are Tanya. Uh -huh. Wrong. Uh, She's wrong. Wrong. Why are you using the fresh stuff? Because the. <laughs> because the recipe calls for dried thyme. So, and most people don't have dried thyme, and so I'm trying to um, use rest ingredients that people have in general. I mean, I have a garden outside. I'm looking doing it again. I'm like. OK, so I have a, a garden outside, and I've got fresh thyme, but uh, most people don't have fresh thyme. So we're going to go with the dry very stuff for now, although fresh is preferable. Sorry. Like Take it away, Tim. So those are the things you're going to need for to go in the pan, for to go in the pan. <laughs> for to go in the pan. <laughs> that made a lot of sense. No? And the, uh, <laughs> now, the second part, you're going to need milk. All right. I wonder if, it, Lisa, are you wondering? It's like, I wonder and if I missed anything. Bread crumbs. Did I miss anything? Bread crumbs? All right. Usually stuff is in here. What else are you going to need? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> he already downloaded that information. I need my, I know. Go ahead. Next, Tim. You're going to need the tomatoes, the Good. eggs. Oh, oh. Tomatoes. I can't multitask. Sorry. Because we're going to use. He means it. I'm serious. We're going to use one cup of diced tomatoes. She, in our ingredients, um, in our recipe it says chopped, but it's, well, we use diced, because I don't think they sell chopped. Did they sell chopped? They don't sell chopped. We have those in the garden. But it's diced. So, and we're gonna use a cup of that. Go ahead. And eggs. Eggs. Three eggs. Three eggs? <laughs> I, was, I was looking at this in the store. Hmm? The, um, these are range free. Wow. Which means um, these birds are never caged and are handled grain, are naturally grain fed. These eggs are laid in nests. Oh, I, you know what? So they don't chop their heads off. These, these chickens remain alive. Do you think if you fed chickens chickens, you get mad chicken disease? Or is that <laughs> probably not going to happen? Yeah, well, only, yeah, only okay. the brains. It's going to happen. We need Russian dressing now as well. Russian dressing. Who's pictures on the refrigerator? Who? Where? Is that you? Here? No, refrigerator. Where? Oh, yeah, that's me. On the chili head. That's very cute. Tim put my head in there. Yeah. It's very nice. You're so creative. Wait till, you, wait till you see how creative he gets. <laughs> He's very creative. And then were are you, you on me? Where were you? The last and final Bill, and most important All ingredient? Right, turkey meat. Turkey meat? OK. All right. Mm. I'm very Not animated. I'm still like, I got, I got to <laughs> calm down. Come on, baby. All right. All right, I'm tired. Now that you have everything laid out, <sighs> it's time to get started. To what cook. is this called? Mise en place. This is called a mise en place. You said that already, but it I don't is. If you do it wrong, it's faux pas and It's plas. faux pas and plas. It's faux pas and plas. That's a mistake. Mm-hmm. Let me think. I hold this thing like, mm. <laughs> All right. So I'll I can get a bowl that I can put my accoutrement in. And one, uh, one important thing is to um, 
you want to, while you're chopping your garlic and your, um, and your onions, you would want to preheat the pan. You can put it on low just to get it going. See, if you put it on high, when you go to put the oil in, and it's going to be too hot. But if you just put it on low, that's pretty low, then when you have all your ingredients ready, then you can put it in your pan and just turn it up to be a little hotter, and then you're ready to go. Because you want your um, ingredients to sizzle a little bit when it goes in the pan. And I, I didn't touch it. All right. <laughs> That's good. Well, you won't burn yourself that you way. You want to chop that? Sure. You chop that. You usually have some of the horrible you. stuff. Go ahead. Let's see, what's else? Mm. Yeah, I'll uh, see you now. Main thing was trying not to block the ingredients. I've done that several dozen times. Any questions? Uh, no. You're zoned out, aren't you? <laughs> no. Um, actually, there was a bug on me, and it freaked me out. So I'm trying mm. to see if there's any more anywhere. I can't wait till the highlight of this is when you um, have to watch us knead the uh, meatloaf. That's going to be great. It's actually when our special guest shows up later. We have a special guest? We do. Who's our special we guest? And, um, well, you'll see when he gets here. <gasps> is it? I know. He, is it, does his name begin with an S? It does. <laughs> is there somebody coming? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Who is it? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Really? A surprise, yes. Is it a good surprise? Yes, it is. Jim's like, is it a good surprise? It I don't could know. be a good I surprise. I thought it would be the police. <laughs> no, they don't Did come Did I use anymore. that joke already? There we go. If you don't drink, the police won't come. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> this is turning into a cooking show. <laughs> I dare anybody to speak. I dare you. I double dare you. Do you have go any ahead. questions? Ow. No. We brought you all the way in here and you have no questions? <laughs> all right. Um, is there any difference? Your microphone, please. Oh. Come on! Is there any difference because you're making turkey meatloaf? Uh, what what uh, difference is there from, you know, in the consistency? Another kind of, of meatloaf. You want to work on that question? <laughs> <laughs> the texture, that's where, I'm that's where I'm going. Texture. Is it, uh, is there, do you have to worry about it being more mushy or anything like that with turkey meatloaf? Oh, instead of regular? Oh. That's a good question. Well, I a lot of it is, if you just made it out of turkey, it would be like a turkey hamburger, and just like you would with beef. But if you put in fillers like, um, we're going to put in some vegetables and eggs and breadcrumbs and the Russian dressing, that makes it a lot more moist. But you got to watch it with turkey because turkey has less fat. So if you don't put some flavoring in it, it's not going to taste very good. Whereas you could get away with, um, you know, like there's a normal, um, the normal mixture for meatloaf is uh, one third veal, one third pork and one third beef. And that's called a meatloaf mix. You can go to your sto local store and buy that. Yeah. But um, what we're using today is just straight out turkey because we're trying to cook a little uh, in a more healthful manner. And a lot of people around here don't want to eat beef anymore. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you're a lacto whatever so it you, is and so, you don't so eat you that and wow. I don't know. Now he's, now he's naming me as something. I'm labeling you. You'll thank us later. Yeah. No, I just choose that way. Oh, okay. I'm not actually No, but anything. you don't eat cows though, right? Not lately. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Whole? Yeah. Do you eat them whole? <laughs> Usually I debone it at least first before I eat the cow. That's a whole other issue. Exactly. Yeah, you have to boil them a long time, don't you? Exactly. Something like that. Yeah, so um, no uh, cows have been killed in the making of this show. Yet. That's nice. Yet. 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 See, I'm trying to get Some these. People. All right. So, you're, oh, you're done? That's wonderful. That's exciting. I'm going to turn up the heat. This is why I wish I still drank. I could be liquefied by now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to put two tablespoons? No. What we're doing is, basically, oh, you'd good. start with two tablespoons, or as we like to say, try two tablespoons. But whatever it takes to you coat the pan. That. What? You didn't measure that. I know. See, I've been a stickler for measuring all these years, and people are like, Ida, uh, you know, you always want to measure things. How can you not measure something? But this is roughly two tablespoons. Start with two tablespoons, and if it doesn't cover the pan, add a little more. So that's approximately two, but you check for yourself. Have you transferred it to this to transfer to that? I am. That way you don't have to cross you and uh, you can. You're very conscious of the camera people. Nice. That's very nice of you. Let's see how much of this I make over there. Okay. There we go. So this is one onion, medium.